Hello KLS crew and welcome back to another Fortnite Battle Royale video. In this video we will be looking at the week 2 challenges for season 8. Before we start, please note that obviously my voice is a robotic voice that was sampled from a text to speech software, so please excuse any mispronunciations. Let's start by looking at an overview of the challenges before we go into the details. There are 3 challenges you can do if you don't have the paid battle pass. The first challenge of those three is a stage challenge. The first stage is, land at the block. The second stage is, land at dusty divot. The third stage is, land at polar peak. The fourth stage is, land at snobby shores. And the final stage is, land at paradise palms. And the second challenge is, Deal damage to descending supply drops and is worth 5 battle stars or 500 XP if you're at tier 100. The third challenge of the free battle passes, eliminations at salty springs or haunted hills and is worth 10 battle stars or 1000 XP if you're at tier 100. The next four challenges are only for people that bought the paid battle pass. The fourth challenge is another stage challenge. The first stage is to gain 25 health from apples. The second stage is, gain health from campfires. And the final stage is, gain health using med kits and all that is worth 5 battle stars or 500 XP if you're at tier 100. The fifth challenge is, visit the furthest north, south, east and west points of the island and is also worth 5 battle stars or 500 XP. The sixth challenge is, Deal damage to opponents with a pirate cannon and is worth 10 battle stars or 1000 XP. The final challenge this week is, search a chest in different named locations in a single match and is also worth 10 battle stars or 1000 XP. And that's it for week 2 so let's look at the details and show you the easiest and fastest way to complete them. You can also now put a challenge as your party assist so if you struggle with one, Set it as your party assist and you can complete it with friends who are in your lobby. So the first challenge, land at 5 different locations, is very easy. All you need to do is jump out the battle bus and land at the place you need to and as long as you land somewhere on it, you should get the challenge completed. The second challenge is to deal 200 damage to descending supply drops. Playing the limited time mode, Team Rumble, there is more supply drops that spawn and you will most likely be near one as long as you are in the circle. Make sure you have a weapon that has long range distance like an assault rifle or maybe a minigun or pistol. The supply drops spawn around the 5 minute mark on Team Rumble and you can now see where they spawn on the minimap so this makes it even easier. However if you don't like Team Rumble, you can of course do it in the normal modes it just might take a bit longer and a bit more effort. The third challenge is to get three eliminations at Salty Springs or Haunted Hills. You should probably go to Salty Springs as it will most likely have more people there especially if the battle bus goes over it which it usually does. However it might be a bit overpopulated and you couldn't get a kill because everyone else killed you first so if that happens then Haunted Hills might be a better place to go. The fourth challenge is another stage challenge. The first stage is to gain 25 health from apples. This means you can't be 100 health while using an apple. A good place to go to get apples could be in Salty Springs next to the smallest house. However Salty Springs might not be an option due to the elimination challenge so if that is the case then you might find some northwest of fatal fields. The second stage is, gain 50 health using campfires. Now that they've added campfires all around the map, this challenge should be easy. If you are desperate, go to Lonely Lodge, get yourself down to at least 50 health and use one of the campfires there. The final stage for this challenge is, gain 75 health using medkits. This challenge should be even easier. All you need to do is find a medkit and use it. Don't even worry about this stage as you will get it when you are playing normally. 
The fifth challenge is to visit the furthest north, south, east and west points of the island. The one that is the furthest north point is northeast of Junk Junction. The furthest east point on the map is south of Lonely Lodge sort of next to the mansion. The furthest south point is just south of Lucky Landing and the furthest west point is just west of Snobby Shores. All you have to do is go up to them and you should have this challenge complete. The sixth challenge is to deal 100 damage to opponents with a pirate cannon. This one might be the hardest one of the week. You do only need to hit them once with the cannon. You might want to do Team Rumble and land at one of the pirate camps and get a cannon. You could move it however it might be a bit hard to move it without getting killed. You could just wait until people come in the circle and there is often big crowds so shoot at them and you might have a chance of hitting one of them. The last challenge for this week is search a chest in three different named locations. A good place to go is Junk Junction for this as you can quickly search a chest there, then Haunted Hills and then either the Block or Paradise Palms. You could also go to the race track next to Junk Junction so you can get a drift board just so you would be a little quicker. And if you complete all the challenges, you can get a secret banner this week. The location of this banner is inside the volcano next to the throne. And that is it for week 2. I hope you enjoyed and if you did please be sure to drop a like and hit the subscribe button. We all appreciate that very much. Also if you wanted to be in one of our videos, check the description on how to do it. Hope this guide helped you get your week 2 challenges done. Goodbye.